Latent heat is a poorly understood concept. According to my online friends Miriam and Webster, latent heat is, quote, heat given off or absorbed in a process, such as fusion or vaporization, other than a change of temperature, end quote. The first known use of the term was in about 1757, using this very definition. Although the definition is straightforward enough, confusion reigns. Please allow me to provide a couple of examples with actual numbers. The latent heat of vaporization of water refers to the amount of energy given off when water is converted from liquid to vapor, that is, from liquid water to steam. The actual number is about 533 calories per gram, which is a very large number. More than half a million calories of energy are required to convert a liter of water into steam. If you've ever tried to lose weight by exercising, you know that burning half a million calories takes some serious effort. The latent heat of vaporization rarely rears its numbers-ridden head when it comes to climate change. In other words, the latent heat of vaporization will not be on the exam. On the other hand, the latent heat of fusion, sometimes called the enthalpy of fusion, is a big deal from the perspective of climate change. The latent heat of fusion for water at zero degrees Celsius is approximately 80 calories per gram. That's still a big number if you're counting calories for your exercise program. Here's what it means with respect to climate change. About 80 calories of energy are needed to convert a gram of solid ice into a milliliter of liquid water. Once all the ice is melted, all the energy that was going into melting ice instead warms the water. Each 80 calories of energy that was being used to melt each gram of ice is now being used to heat the water. That gram of solid ice that was converted into a milliliter of liquid water now absorbs the heat. The milliliter of water heats rapidly to nearly 80 degrees Celsius. How hot is that? People typically heat the water in their houses to 50 degrees Celsius or cooler. 80 degrees Celsius on human skin will produce third degree burns in less than a second. The latent heat of fusion is therefore a very big deal. Once we lose sea ice floating on top of the Arctic Ocean, all the sunlight going into melting the ice will instead heat the water. It won't take long before that overheated seawater translates into an overheated atmosphere. A quickly overheated atmosphere means a quick loss of habitat for humans and other organisms. Barring a near-term solution to this impending disaster, we will soon be saying our final goodbyes. We will not be alone. Please support the Mere Reflection Framework. Call your favorite billionaire and ask for his or her support, too.